Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different than everything else I've done. Today is going to be me taking my first dive into the world of laser and wood engraving and lasers in general with the help of my friends at Laser Pecker. Laser Pecker reached out a few months ago wanting to see if I'd be willing to collaborate with them and bring an entry level, relatively entry level laser into a 3D printer's workspace to see what they could do with it. I've never used a laser engraver or wood engraver or laser in general before. So I told them it was going to be completely from the perspective of a beginner and they were totally on board. I can't thank Laser Pecker enough for reaching out to me and being willing to collaborate on all this stuff. Let's get to the meat and potatoes of all this stuff and really see what we got going on. Again, like I said, I have never used anything like this before. I've been totally about 3D printers in the past, never really owned or operated anything like this. So this is going to be a big learning curve for me, but I'm excited and I'm excited for you guys to see it as well. So the LP2 Plus. Cork to either use or put on the bottom of things or I guess engrave with, which is pretty cool. We've got a nice colored instruction booklet. Looks like we got a base tray as well as I guess some things to test with, some leather, like leather pads to test with, which is cool. All right, so in this top layer here, safety glasses, power cable, as well as power adapter. Here looks like it is like a laser guard, the protecting guard. All right, laser pecker tools. And then we've got a bunch of stuff in here. So USB cable, and then we have the device itself. Let's go ahead and pull this out. All right, let's get started. So quick assembly, let's see what we got. Okay, we're gonna take this out and then attach the front light filter as well, which is this magnetic filter. Very nice. Man, this feels, this feels awesome. Electric stand assembly. Ooh, interesting. We're gonna go into the laser packer toolkit. Let's see what we got. Like this. Let's go ahead and tighten this. So far, everything I've put my hands on has been very high quality. The bolts, the stand, everything has intention. Looks like this is done. This is the front. Okay, that locks, well, locks in very easily. Looks like it just goes this way, second one. And then we have the USB cable and the power adapter. All right, you plug the adapter into the back. We got a light, looks like. Then there's a secondary cable that connects into the first slot. It actually connects down to here. And that connects the electric arm. I'm gonna set up the air purifier, so that way I could use this safely down here. Very nice. Wow. This is an adapter that goes onto the back and then this just clamps on. No questions asked. And then this is if I wanna snake it outside, but I can get it going right into this, which is gonna be cool. Okay. We are on. It's on. Now that we have our air purifier set up, let's go ahead and get to the fun part and let's download the app. All right, just downloaded the app. Just gonna open it up for the first time. Created an account already. And let's add our device. So this is the LP2 Plus. I'm gonna go hit next and add a new device. All right, looks like it found it. We're gonna go ahead and select ours. 
Got a nice little beep from it. And then we're gonna go ahead and connect the device to Wi-Fi. And now we have a connected device. All right, let's go to create. I guess that's in the center. Is there a way for me to center this? Oh, okay, so we need to move down until the red dots on the wooden plank are in line with one another. All right, so I'm gonna hold this down. until I see, I'm gonna move this so you guys can see. I'm gonna go at 50, I'm gonna go at 40%, because that's what ChatGPT is telling me. Oh, it's telling me depth density 60%. All right, we're gonna go with these settings. Took about six minutes, 13 seconds. I'm going to wait a few seconds to let the air purifier absorb any remnants of smoke or anything that was burned off before I lift that up. I am gonna turn it down a little bit though, to half speed. Again, so this was just me, honestly, I did a little brief research online of what I should do for basic settings on whatever this wood was. Um, and this is what I found. So I'm not looking for this to be perfect. I'm just looking for this to be somewhat readable. All right, let's go ahead and hit the up button and get this to go. From my understanding, once you hit that, it automatically will start to rise and then I can just tell it to stop myself. But here's the unveiling, I guess. Woo, look at that. A little charring around some of the uh, a little bit thicker letters, but for a first time, plug and play, not even using a computer, just using the app. It doesn't get much easier than that. And I can have a lot of fun with this. All right, let's see what else we can do. Let's do light surface and grade. 45 to 50%, 60 to 70% speed and one pass. Looks like we got a little bit of the same result, but a little bit different as well. Still the same scorched mark in the top left. A little bit different. I think this is a little bit more even all the way around. But again, this is me, my second and first, first and second attempts of ever laser engraving. So pretty awesome. Uh, let's try something a little bit more difficult. I am going to see my grandfather tonight. He is 98 years old and he fought World War II and he was in the Seabees. I am going to bring him a little wooden plank of the Seabees logo and see how it comes out. All right, I like that. I'm generating this new one. Okay, I'm gonna use this bash wood plank option and this preset to see how it turns out. I think using the preset settings, sounds silly saying that after the fact, but I think using that might just be as plug and play as it comes. Whew.
Not nearly as dark as I think I would have liked it to be, but man, that's really, really awesome. With a little bit of tweaking, I'm sure that can come out just amazing. All right, now that we tested that out on the main machine, let's open up some of these accessories that Laser Pecker sent and see what we can do with these. So this is the versatile electric roller. And as you might be able to see, this is made to be able to use and engrave on rounded or specifically shaped objects that might not be able to be printed on a flat surface. Not printed. You can tell I'm very used to saying printed because of 3D printing, but engraved on a flat surface. But again, I have no idea how to use this, so let's open it up and figure it out. Ooh, look at that. All right, now that we got everything connected, let's go through the steps to starting this. So once I'm in the app, I have to know, go into mode settings and apparently, oh, here we go, versatile electric roller, cylinder mode. So I'm going to test with this little, I guess, like beverage koozie that I have. All right, we're gonna go for it. I think I have it set up correctly. I don't think it did anything. Oh, shit, it did. Oh my God. Holy shit. Look at that. <laughs> that worked first try, no problems. Uh, about 10 times easier than I thought it was gonna be. I did not think I saw anything engraving. That was very easy to set up. Look at that, man. I think I need to like wipe it down or something. Man, look at that. That is so awesome. All right, now that we took some time to figure out the electric roller, let's move on to the slide extension. So this is primarily, from my understanding, great for batch production or if you have something that needs to be moved um, while you're printing it something along those lines could i be completely wrong one thousand percent are we going to find out together one thousand percent one thing about these laser pecker products everything has been packaged amazingly and you could tell that they take a lot of care in not only making sure that the products arrive at the customer safely. But it's easy for the customer to understand. And then same thing as the electric roller. Nice little user manual. And then we have the device. So let's go ahead and get this stuff out. The th these three holes line up with these three holes. on there okay after watching a video online i basically had to add the riser that comes with it and take off the protective shield not sure if that's just something i'm gonna have to do when i use the sliding extension but for right now i think that's gonna have to be the case let's do metal first let's do metal okay we're just gonna put Put my eyewear on. I can't really see what's going on because I got the glasses on. It looks like it's working and nothing's on fire. So that's good. Wow, this is finishing very quickly. 25 seconds. Damn, it did the one really, really well. Not sure why it didn't do this one at all. Doesn't look like even it hit it, but this one came out great.
I was able to turn this little section in the basement into my laser and wood engraving area now with the LP2 Plus. Really excited to see how I can learn and use this machine to its full potential and make myself better and honestly use it as a tool in my business. I can't thank Laser Pecker enough for originally reaching out to me, being willing to work with me and give a beginner in this world of laser engraving and wood engraving, giving this beginner in the space uh, a fair shot. If you guys like the content, please like and subscribe if you wanna see more of it. And please check out the Laser Pecker site as the Black Friday sales approach. They're gonna have great deals on their machines, including the L2P Plus that you guys saw today, which was amazing.